Hi everyone, my name is Michael Van Dyke and I am the owner of and the operations manager for the Drumnetics company. The following is a video demonstration and instructional outline of the adjustments featured on our bass drum pedals. First we'll highlight the beater angle settings, then we'll get to the upper magnet cam cartridge settings, and then we'll finalize with the pedal board slide adjust feature. Your Drumnetics pedal comes factory set as seen here with the beater placed in the center of the three beater angles available on the cam assembly, which puts the bass drum beater at an approximate 45 degree angle away from the bass drum head, which may or may not be to your preference. And in that case, <coughs> You remove the smaller of the two hex wrenches there in the bass drum pedals base plate cartridge and we proceed with loosening the cap screw in the center position setting and back it out till it's loose which will then disable the center piece and allow it to move in between the three holes so we'll go to the furthest setting downward which creates a closer proximity of the beater to the bass drum head. Now there's going to be a shorter amount of travel to the bass drum head which will give it a different feel without changing the cam magnet cartridge settings uh, which will be explained in another video but that setting is one of the three available as I said earlier so if you wanted to change that even more so to the extreme furthest away from the bass drum head available with our pedal you would then loosen the cap screw again and line it up with the top hole I'm not going to tighten it in all the way, but give her a point of reference. Now you can see how much of a angle off the bass drum head we now have with that setting. And again, that will probably require a changing of the cam magnet cartridges and their settings. Your bass drum pedal comes factory set in the magnet cartridge configuration seen here. There are four holes starting with this one right here, just about visible, that coincides with this setting in your beater angle. So the spacing that you see there is where the beater is basically contacting the bass drum head, thereabouts. So to change that, and also to give you a view of the four holes, you take the smaller of the two hex wrenches, comes with the pedal, and there are the four holes. We were this one back from the front for the setting coincides there in the cam. So we can actually bring that up one more hole to bring about more repulsion. So it's one more hole backwards, which decreases the space between the magnets, which then increases the amount of repulsion coming from the magnets. Less space between the magnets means more repulsion. So back to factory, second one from the front. You just kind of rotate and align the holes. The tip of the screw will start feeding into the hole and you'll see where it's started and just snugly tighten down and it seats right into that hole. Nice and firm. So now if you wanted a beater setting different from the factory and closer to the bass drum head, less travel, 
establish that as demonstrated here and also in another video for the cam settings. Now that magnet with the factory setting and an approximation of the beater hitting the head, that's a little less spacing than a person might want. So to increase that again, we just are going to bring the cartridge forward by letting it go one more hole back from the front in the hole settings, which decreases the space and increases the amount of repulsion. So as you do this on one side with your pedal, the other side just is set up the same so that you have a nice even equal amount on both sides and that gives you a really fluid feel with the pedal. So there's the forward angle closer to the bass drum head. A little more repulsion by bringing the cartridge forward more. So we'll leave it in the factory setting again and I just want to demonstrate one more setting, one more aspect. So as the beater angle changes once again, if you wanted more throw on the beater, a little more thump if you will. With this setting, again, now these, see where the beater is, and not even changing this, see how close they are. So that's not a bad thing. Let me put this all the way in. So all the way in, we've got clearance now. You can see how close we're coming. So right there, they're pretty close. It's about as, as much as you'd want there. But if you wanted less, you would just bring this backwards. Or go back on the hole, which would then bring the cartridge in a reverse rotating motion this way. So now that spacing is decreased, or there's more space, which decreases the magnetic repulsion. And again, you would just do the same on the other side. You can keep it closer as it was in the other setting. It's just basically uh, a bit of trial and error to find out what feels best to your individual preference. Now that your beater angle and upper magnet cartridge configurations are set up, the next step is to establish the pedal board and base plate magnet repulsion, which establishes the final and overall feel of your Drumnetics bass drum pedal. The pedal board slide adjust feature seen here allows a sliding of this magnet or the magnet, not visible, but it's in a cartridge underneath the plate here. And along with loosening of this cap screw with the larger of the two hex wrenches, we can move that cartridge up and back, a little bit up, a little bit more up, still more, etc., etc. It requires a little bit of trial and error. See, right now the magnets are face to face, but a bit offset with that setting and there's less repulsion because of it. Now once this setting is changed and from one extreme to the other, those magnets now face each other directly and give a drastically increased amount of repulsion in the feel of your pedal. 
So it requires a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of time to get the feel you want, but it can be very slight in its increment. These magnets are very subtle in the way they interact with one another. They're quite strong, so that allows just incremental establishing of your repulsion by way of offset or completely face-to-face -face in this setting. So again, just a little trial and error to get the overall feel of your Drumnetics pedal. If you happen to have any other questions, please don't hesitate to call. The number is listed at the website, so please visit us at www.drumnetics.com. And thanks very, very much.